in a country as rich in culture and diverse as America, you've got, you're going to have a lot of different religions. You know, and what, what, what do we do about that? Should, should we consider that a travesty or do we consider that an opportunity? Well, I, th- I think it's, it's, it's the latter one. I think we can allow people, we should allow people to, to practice their own religion, you know, whether it's Muslim, Judaism, Hinduism, you know, or, or whatever it is. And out of that, you know, we do want to share the good news of the gospel, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. And he calls men and women uh, of, of all ethnicities, okay, of all languages, of all cultures, uh, to, to come to Christ as their savior. But to do that, what we want is is genuine conversion, okay? We don't want to threaten or intimidate people into pretending to be Christian enough to be accepted, but underneath they're really unchanged and unformed. So the fact that we have a, a, a multicultural, a multireligious context is not something we should necessarily grieve. We should simply see that as the reality of living in a world, living in a world where not everyone knows Christ, but a world where it remains our task to make Christ fully known.